on the list we have this courtesy of wall street journal which is pretty infuriating when i read it it says melinda gates was meeting with divorce lawyers since 2019 to end marriage with bill gates the philanthropist had discussions with lawyers in october 2019 around when the microsoft current founders ties with jeffrey epstein became public we don't need to get into the whole Epstein thing, but you know exactly what I'm going with that guy, innit? Yeah, he's dead now at the moment. So, at the moment, well, he's dead now. So, you know, whatever it may be. But I find this really rich, right? Off the back of them announcing that they're going to get divorced, and now we have further details that supposedly Melinda Gates was the one that initiated the divorce. So obviously, she was the one displeased with their marriage and their union. Then we had news of her renting that incredible island somewhere in the Caribbean for 130000 per night to kind of escape the lure of the cameras, which, you know, understandable. If you had that kind of money and access, most people would do the same thing, especially if you're not like a media, media person in that regard. But the one thing I really dislike about people who are in the public eye who decide to call it quits is this sort of stuff, the kind of digging up of dirt, the muddying of your name, um, the reputational damage that they do, when they're going through court proceedings or divorce proceedings, whatever it may be, it's really, really unbecoming. Like, especially people like this who are like in their, what, 60s plus or something. They have three kids. They obviously had a loving marriage for a period of time and now it's ended. Fair things, some things, things, things begin, things end. It is what it is. But why would you need to muddy the name of your father's children of somebody that you would deem to be your best friend somebody that's going to be an integral part of your life regardless of what happens in the future why would you want to damage that in this way in an attempt to kind of distance yourself or an attempt to paint you out to be the good guy and that person to be the bad guy because by and large it's very unlikely again my opinion it's very unlikely that she had no idea of her husband's ties to jeffrey epstein before that story came out in the first place and if it's true then of course that you know probably gives you an idea as to why their marriage may be ended right the fact that she had no idea that this guy she knew who he was whatever it's just impossible i think so considering the levels there's the circles that they hobnob in how people gossip in that industry it's just impossible that she had no idea if it is happened like i said if it did happen then obviously it's a good indication that their marriage probably wasn't going to last when those kind of secrets have been kept from people but i just don't see the benefit of sharing this sort of news like why do we need to know this why does his reputation need to suffer even more off the back of this he already kind of ducked this issue in the first place right when it kind of got announced or when it got leaked that i think i think i'm not alleged allegedly that bill gates was on jeffrey epstein's plane or something like that i don't know what it was but there was you know a lot kind of tying them together and he explained it and sort of kind of kept it moving dodged and weaved it pretty effortlessly because to be honest considering um you know how often he's in front of the public eye and all that sort of stuff and of course then comes the stuff with the vaccines and you know him with holding the patents and all that malarkey you know there's a lot of conflicting information out there about him um elon musk doesn't seem to be a fan of bill gates either which is another red flag because elon's a bit of an eccentric himself so he's not a fan of somebody like him it just makes you really question the whole thing and again i just don't understand why this is being shared i don't understand why this is i understand i know why because i'm sure as part of the divorce proceedings if you're able to kind of tarnish someone's name um, in public then i'm sure that's going to help with how things get settled whether it means bill gates decide to rush through the settlement so he can just stop her talking to the press um whether it's something to do with how they divvy up the money because you know there's supposed to be some story came out about oh bill gates gave her 100 million or 180 million or 180 billion whatever 18 billion something crazy in stocks um to carry through the proceedings i don't know and then he's hired a army of lawyers like it's just a messy affair and it's just unfortunate that it has to play out in the public eye. i just don't understand why people can get together and have a really loving relationship you know again these aren't these aren't millennials these are people that have been in the industry for a long time they've been professionals for a long time they've been in the public eye for a long time they've been wealthy for a very very long time that they would need to do this sort of like mudslinging thing in public it just feels weird and really really odd so let's read a bit the article here it says the split between bill and melinda gates and us last week has been in the works for a long time miss gates consulted with divorce lawyers roughly two years before she filed for divorce from mr gates saying their marriage was irre 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 
irretrievable jesus please just, i can't say that irretrievably broken according to people familiar with the matter and documents reviewed by the wall street journal the 56 year old philanthropist has been working with lawyers at several firms since at least 2019 to unwind the marriage for more than 25 years of more than 25 years according to these people in the documents last monday the billionaire couple announced that they were ending their marriage in a joint statement on twitter they said we no longer believe we can grow together as a couple in the next phase of our lives the couple hasn't said what prompted the split one source closed um, one source of concern of Mr. Gates was um, her husband's dealing with the convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. According to the people and the former employee of their charity, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Miss Gates' concerns about the relationship date far back in 2013 that the former employee said. So she had the concerns about the relationship in 2013, but it only took until 2019 for her to finally say, you know what, I have to leave. For what? Because her reputation would get damaged because her husband was, you know, chumming it up with somebody that was alleged uh flipping um what do you think called um human trafficking ring running he was running a human trafficking ring is that what she was doing i don't take this is nothing to give yourself a pat on the back with again this is a weird society we live in now where you know staying quiet when somebody's getting up to some complete nonsense or associated with somebody they shouldn't be associated with but then when it doesn't serve so when it doesn't serve you then you suddenly come out. Now she's suddenly got a voice. Now she's suddenly brave. And again, this isn't some, you know, regular schmegular woman. This is somebody with power, with influence, who could actually make a difference, who could have actually added some sort of, what would you call it, validity to the accusations that were pinned against Jeffrey Epstein, all that sort of stuff we had before this, right? She was somebody that would have been a very valuable resource to kind of pull from, a very valuable advocate. And she stayed quiet, stayed quiet, like everyone else did. So that's what I'm saying. As bad as the monsters are, right? As bad as those Jeffrey Epstein characters are, the Harvey Weinstein characters are, my, in my humble opinion, the worst people are the ones who saw or who were aware or who had heard rumours of the situation of what was going on and didn't say nothing because they wanted to keep their job or they wanted to keep their salary. Those are the worst people. Because again, like I said, until the end of time, monsters will always exist. But what the only way we can make a change, the only way we can make an actual difference is if collectively, as a human race, we decide enough is enough and we fob them out, we let the authorities know, we call them out in public, all this sort of stuff. That's the only way the this only way we sort of like curtail um the prevalence of them. But when people sort of like keep quiet to save their jobs and stuff, what do you think monsters do? They use that prevalence for self preservation to their advantage and they offer you money they offer you gigs they do whatever it's like that one woman in the epstein documentary on netflix she was what she was one woman who jeffrey tried it on with i think she might have been an assistant i don't know what she was she obviously um rebuffed jeffrey epstein's advances and then she ended up working for him hiring girls to come through he, then he offered the job and she took it and she then set up girls to go do the very thing that she would didn't want to do um, the couple negotiated a divorce for the COVID-19 pandemic. The documents so they have been three children who are now all 18 years old or older. Maybe that's why they, they waited until that. Who knows? I don't really care in that regard. According to the documents reviewed by the journal, Miss Gates and her advisors held a number of calls in October 2019 when the New York Times reported that Gates had met with Epstein on numerous occasions. Mr. Gates once stayed in late into the night with Miss Epstein's Manhattan townhouse, the Times reported. Uh, Bridget Arnold, a spokeswoman for Mr. Gates, said in 2019 that the software Morgan, Mr. Epstein had met multiple times to discuss philanthropy. Bill Gates regrets ever meeting with Epstein, recognizes it's an error in judgment to do so. Miss Arnold said at the time that Epstein died in jail in August 2019, awaiting trial on federal charges relating to sex trafficking. Miss Gates, a global advocate for women and girls, had told her husband she was uncomfortable with Epstein after the couple met him in 2013. The former employer of the Gates Foundation said Mr. Gates and some employees of the Gates Foundation continued the relationship with Miss Epstein despite the concerns of the person that said. Yeah, I, I, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't rate it. You're with the guy for 20 plus years. You didn't say nothing during the time. And now you're getting a divorce. Suddenly you've got a voice. Suddenly you're brave. Like, nah, I don't buy it. I'm sorry. I don't buy it. You don't get to be a billionaire philanthropist married to one of the most successful tech entrepreneurs in the history of time and also get to be a victim. I'm sorry, you don't. You just don't.